Laguna. And um, I'm about to make my magnetic field detector for 3D in 3D. Uh, I'm using motor oil, mo regular motor oil. I'm, I'm thinking that thicker the better, so I'm using a, a kind of a thick one, a thick uh, motor oil here. And uh, I think that's enough. I just used about one cup worth of oil, motor oil. There. Next, I'm going to add toner. Regular toner for for um, laser printers. Now I was told that different toners have different metallic content. So uh, I was told by the person that gave me this, which uh, they sell inks, so they know a lot about this stuff. Uh, he uh, gladly gave me some of this to test because he wants to see it as well. He told me that Xerox, uh, or the more expensive toners, tend to have a higher concentration of oil. Uh, you might want to look at how cool this looks. As I spread it around, this thing's going to turn dark. See, I want it to be a little more concentrated because I really want this thing to move when I apply a magnet to it. I think I want to throw a little more. Now I did place a magnet on this and it was picked up. Uh, it got stuck to the walls when I placed... Ah, that's much better. When I placed a magnet on the, si on the uh, side of the wall of the plastic bottle so um, hopefully we'll get a very nice reaction when I put the neodymium magnets on the bottom of this. Uh, now I need to stir. So I just think to stir. I'm gonna have to use this thing. It's, uh, it's not working anymore. It's a big slurry. And I might have put a bit too much, but that's okay. I know this might take a little longer, a little long. So next time I make a video doing something like this, I'm just going to do it with uh, Windows Movie Maker and cut it apart. Now the whole idea of this is that the metallic particles in the in the toner will float around in the oil, in the motor oil, therefore creating a ferromagnetic fluid that acts like a fluid but when a magnetic, uh, uh, the magnetic field lines applied to it pass through the uh, ferro fluid it, it'll it'll start behaving like a, like a solid giving me a visual cue of what uh, the magnetic flux lines look like and that's what I'm very interested in because I'm trying to create some um, magnetic uh, machines magnetic motors but I really well I mean uh, what YouTube videos uh, they show a lot of uh, magnetic motor designs what they don't show is what the magnetic lines look like um, in movement or, or static so I really want to see you know, I want to bring uh, 